I more than almost anyone would love to say that Baltimore City is open and safe. <clears throat> But that simply is not what the data is telling us at this time. With that, Baltimore Mayor Jack Young said the city would not move to stage two of coronavirus restrictions like most of the rest of the state. He is allowing non-essential retail to open at 50% capacity. That puts the city in line with neighboring jurisdictions. But no indoor dining in restaurants is allowed. Offices remain closed, as well as nail salons and gyms. The health commissioner cited insufficient testing and high positivity rates in some zip codes, such as Southeast Baltimore, where we reported Wednesday on long lines at a community testing site. Daily cases, the commissioner said, are still increasing too much. We do not yet have testing capacity where everyone in Baltimore City can get a test when they want it. Wednesday, Governor Larry Hogan criticized the mayor for not moving faster to reopen. I don't know what the governor's looking at. I look at what my um, health professionals are telling me and the data. City officials will review restrictions next week. They want to see if cases spike as a result of some weekend crowds and protests of the last two weeks. Only time tells whether a data point is trending positively or negatively. In a period of one to two weeks is generally not sufficient time to see the impacts of decisions made on reopening. The mayor had been under a lot of pressure to ease the restriction on non-essential business, some of whom are here along Monument Street in East Baltimore. They haven't had in-store traffic in more than two months. The mayor also addressed rumors. He said there have been rumors around that some restaurants in the city are going to defy the order to not allow inside dining. He said Baltimore police will be out for inspection. Reporting live tonight from East Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.